guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna do some planting. I've got a gator full of beautiful things, including this tree, which I'm so excited about. This is a Conica Siberian Larch, and it is the softest, most delicate looking tree ever, but they're super hardy, like down to zone two. In addition to this Larch, we've got two varieties of perennial, a meadow rue and a yarrow that are brand new for next year, 2025. Uh, we got our hands on them early to give them a try and show you guys how they grow for us. So here's the yarrow starting to see a little bit of color. I thought there was one with more right here with more color. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? This is firefly red pop and I normally don't plant a lot of red out in our garden and this is actually not going to go in our flower beds. This one's going to go in our cut flower garden. I've got one little section of yarrow already but they're more pastel colors. This one's going to go right next to it. A few stats on this one. It grows about two feet tall and wide maybe a tiny bit bigger than that but it's got these kind of cherry red flowers that have really little yellow eyes and they kind of have like some peachy looking ones too, which I like that color variation. Zone three through eight, super hardy, drought tolerant once established, the pollinators love it. Just a very low maintenance plant. And the reason why I like to have these in our cut flower garden is that they're wonderful, fresh or dried. You can use them for either application. This is our meadow rue right here. The variety is cotton candy. I love the shape of the leaves. Look at that one. They're so unique looking and I don't know, I love this darker tinge. I don't know if it's because we got so cold the other night down to 27 degrees or if it normally does this, but I wouldn't mind because I think that's really beautiful. But this one grows quite tall, like three and a half feet tall. Um, and then it spreads out just a couple of feet and I'm really excited to have something to kind of tuck into the back of a border. And I really wanna focus on this space. You can see like it's kind of, oh, it looks better in the season because you know, roses grow up and grasses and stuff. A lot of spent bulb foliage, but I really want to start working on getting this filled in a little bit better. The way it's kind of worked out out here, which you guys know there's no plan out here. We just come out with some plants and just find a spot that works. Sometimes I do have an idea like, oh, okay, I think right there I need a little evergreen or maybe I need something that has a grassy texture right there, but there's no uh, written plan anywhere. The only plan we ever had for this space was a, a sketch showing where like the lane needed to be, where the cut flower garden need to be, needed to be. It was more of like a global plan. It wasn't a plant plan for sure. So I end up working on little pockets and I'll fill up one space and it'll look really good. And then the space right next to it looks completely bare. <laughs> Like I've completely ignored it, but I think that's just going to be how it goes out here. Anyway, this is a zone five through eight and it blooms late spring, which these arrived to us. I think they were possibly used at a show, a garden show. So they were, uh, they're way ahead of the game and I think they've already bloomed out, but they're lavender flowers and maybe we can get a picture and the, the name of the variety is a good name based on what the flowers look like, like little wispy lavenderish pink puffy flowers very cotton candy-esque. And then we've got our larch with about the longest leader ever. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna back up so you can see how gorgeous this tree is. So this one will grow about 25 feet tall and only about six feet wide. It could possibly get a little bit wider than that if it really likes its spot, but that's a typical size for it, about 25 by six. Look at these needles. It's a deciduous plant so these needles turn bright yellow in the fall and then you know shed and then it pushes fresh ones every year oh, I had a larch in our townhouse garden it was called like a horseman's or hortsman's recurva and it was a really kind of uh, interesting growing larch like this one grows very upright and the other one that I had grew kind of like willy-nilly in a way but it wasn't a strict weeping uh, type which I don't usually like strict weeping sort of trees and I think this one has just a really interesting shape. We could probably see it better if I got it down out of the gator. So I think what I'm gonna do is set it where I think I want it and we might move it about just a little bit um, and find the perfect spot and then we're gonna plant it. That looks so good right there. And I decided on this space because the first space, I need something red, something that's not super small, but also not super big because we do have a London plane tree right here that's going to get enormous. 
We've got a European white birch right here, which won't get enormous, but gets pretty good size. And so I want something that's a little bit shorter, but it has a red color in here. And then the second place I tried it was right here and it was very pretty right here, but I have a Scotch pine right here, which is going to get absolutely huge. And it'll take it a, a while to get there, but when it does get to that point, that's about the time when the larch will probably be a little bit bigger and they'll be competing for space. I don't mind moving you know, shrubs and some smaller things around or even removing them completely from the garden as things get bigger. But when it's something like this, this is a specimen tree that's not inexpensive to buy. Um, so wherever I want put it, I want it to be able to stay there forever. Benjamin's out there helping Aaron. I don't know if you can see him over there. Hey bud, did daddy give you a ride out this far? What you doing with your your uh, astronaut glove. I wanted to bring it. Nice. I just planted this tree right here. You should go feel it. It is soft, isn't it? It's pokey though. It looks pokey, but it's not at all, is it? It's called a larch. larch. Yep. But look at the, if we get in here closer, you can see how beautiful just the bark is. So it's got really interesting color. Even in the winter time, I think it's going to be a beautiful tree right here. So um, like I was saying, like I want it to be able to just grow to maturity and in this space we have a Norway spruce that's already big. We have a Serbian spruce which will grow about oh maybe at most oh like seven feet from center which will put it about where the tulips are right there. So these won't compete with each other. There's a little willow right here. This is a silver leaf willow. So perfect right here. I'd love to have more of these. That's a nice one, isn't it? And then there's some Senorita roses in here, which poor things are looking a little rough after our freeze, but everything should be okay. And this, I'm gonna ask one of the guys to come out and lift up because I, I moved it from here to here, barely. It's so heavy. You should try it, Benjamin. Oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> you can scoot it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the next plants I wanna put in are the rue plants and we've got one two three four five six seven of these so we'll find a good sunny spot for them and get them in the ground These look so good right here. I love it. And I made sure to leave some room up front so we can add in another perennial. And I think I've got the perfect one to put here. Maybe we can do that in the next few days, but we'll have a nice stair step because we've got the, you know, three and a half feet tall. We'll have some that get oh, maybe 20, 24 inches. And we've got the totem pole grasses in here, which get like six feet. We've got a few roses back in here with black canes, but there's new growth coming out of the bottom. They do it every year. It's a variety called All Dressed Up and those get about four to four and a half feet tall. So it'll be a nice blend in here. And then as you go further this way, there's some Back to the Fuchsia Salvia with a rogue purple one, kind of pretty. And then uh, some other things, you know, some drops of Jupiter Oregano bringing that really bright color and some other perennials flushing back out. But I think the Rue is a really pretty look right here. Really happy with that. Okay, yarrow is our last job for today. So here's the summer pastels yarrow right here. And then if we just go beyond it, we've got this empty section with just some weeds in it. Um, I would like to fill up this area with the red pop. And right beyond that, we have some of the eryngium, blue glitter and steel blue, I think. Yep, just a few steel blue and the rest blue glitter. I think we've got the perfect amount to fill this up too.
And there they are, all seven of them. Just zigzagged them to fill in that empty space. It worked out just perfectly. And the fact that I had yarrow right here already, I started this from seed last winter. In fact, I think most of the stuff I've started from seed, and that's kind of the thought for this area, but it worked out perfectly to try out this brand new variety and be able to put it in the cut flower garden where it'll fit in color wise. It's just gonna be perfect. In fact, it's looking like I can even get in here and start digging out some yarrow starts from last year's crop. That's pretty awesome. Now this whole area has not been mulched yet, our entire cut flower garden. In fact, it's on our list this week. I don't know if you can see those flags. I flagged out exactly where I want the dahlia rose. So we're gonna get the T posts put in, the drip lines run, and then we're gonna mulch everything. And we've got the mulch sitting over in the dirt lands. So we do kind of like a brown natural mulch for our walkways, and then we're going to mulch with compost for all of our planting rows. And that will really sharpen things up out here and start making it look really nice. And you know, I love when this garden just overflows with blooms, you know, like August, September, October are really great months out here in the garden. But I also love it like equally as much right after it has been mulched. And you can see little baby crops coming up. There's just something so new and fresh about it and everything's so neat and tidy. And so it kind of checks some of the other boxes for me. And I just, I love that each season kind of holds something a little bit different. Mine is winter. It's pretty crummy out here in the winter time. We need to figure something out. Maybe boxwood hedging around each quadrant. It'd be a total pain to get in and out of. You'd have to have entrances, entry points, but boy, that would really make it pretty out here, I think. I mean, just imagine that. Boxwood hedging around each one of these. You'd probably have to have an, an opening on either end and then redirect rows so that you had maybe four quadrants inside your quadrants. So you had a main walking row this way and maybe a main that way. It could totally be done though. And you guys, that is gonna do it for today's projects. My favorite thing today, well, I don't know what my favorite thing is today. I love that larch. I've been so looking forward to getting that in the ground, but I also love where the rue ended up. And I wasn't sure exactly where I was gonna plant that one, but I love it when an area starts to feel like, oh, okay, there's some bulk going on in that space. It's not just a bunch of wispy nothing or weeds. And I just, I really want to focus on, there's a lot of areas I want to focus on, but I really want to focus on that area right along the driveway because I really just haven't. And there hasn't been a lot going on in there. I've really actually focused on the back areas more than I have the front. And I don't know if that was just because I wanted to give myself time and decide if I wanted to do something a little bit more formal if that makes sense but this area just isn't formal at least out in the the loop area so i think we can just go to town and just start filling it up anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one bye